deputies were called to that house on Hastings Street earlier this morning in the Pine Hills neighborhood of Orlando. News 6's Brian Didlake is live at that scene. Brian, this involves several women in their 70s. Yes, that's correct, Eric. One woman has been arrested in this incident and taking a look at the scene, investigators have been here for quite a few hours trying to piece together what happened during an argument that led to that deadly altercation. I did get a chance to speak with a couple of neighbors who say that this whole ordeal was surprising to hear. I'm shocked because like four old ladies that live there, so it's like... What can y'all possibly be arguing about? Dan Lee Oriental says she was visiting her mother and was puzzled at first when she saw this scene on Hastings Street, just two houses over. According to Orange County Sheriff's Office, deputies responded to this home around 11 a.m. and found one woman with multiple stab wounds. The victim pronounced dead on scene. Through their investigation, deputies learned that there was an argument between two female roommates in their 70s. Oriental says this incident is hard to wrap her head around. If somebody had told me about me seeing it, I would never believe it because it's not, it's no noise. It's just four old ladies. Like the whole neighborhood is just quiet. Even with the traffic, you would never expect like noise like that. Other neighbors quiet. like this woman going only by the name Christy says this incident could have been handled differently. Just sad. Sad that somebody lost their life over probably a silly argument. Christy claims she has been living in this neighborhood since 1992 and says despite this incident, her area doesn't see events like this. I would say in the last 10 years, it's uh, progressively um, people are taking care of their homes and, you know, they're moving in here. I know Pine Hills has a bad rep reputation, but uh, parts of it are okay. And this is getting better, so it's good. Again, the other woman involved in this incident has been arrested and we'll continue working with Orange County Sheriff's Office to learn more about what happened as they continue to investigate. But for now, we're live in Pine Hills. Brian Ditlake getting results. News 6.